Hello there. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. So, thanks for allowing me into the home. That's all right. You are the quack that's coming to do my test. Yes, I'm the quack. Yeah. (laughs) Just enough education to perform. So, are you having any health problems at the moment? Not that I believe so. Right, okay. So, um, we're going to do some nerve tests around the head, just involving the upper part of the body, some cranial nerves, the nerves that originate from the brain. What brain? All right, we need to check that out then, don't we, see if you've got a brain. Yeah. Right, we're going to start, I think, with a vision test. Now, the glasses you're wearing, are they distant reading or a multifocal? These are a multifocal. Right, so you wear those to read. Yeah. Okay. I want you to hold this chart here. All right, it's going to be vision. Okay, just take a few blinks now. And I need to know, what's the smallest row you can read down to? 610. X, U. Actually, I can only just see that. X and U on the 16. What's this I like? Uh, That's 618. A little bit worse. Yeah. That's H-O-D. Or U. Now, when was your last eye examination? Um, probably about May last year. Do you feel your vision's changed in that time? Yeah. Okay. So obviously I'd recommend an eye examination. Okay, moving on. I just want you to look into the distance. You'll see there's a chart. I just want you to look at the E. Okay. Okay, near the top. Just a simple line. This is just checking the constriction of the pupils. Now I'm looking in this eye for what's called the consensual response. Just the swinging flashlight test. That's fine. What does that swinging Light test. Well, it checks for something called a relative afferent pupillary defect. So, if there's any problems with the nerves at the back, okay. in, in or around the eye, All right. and that could show up. But there are a few additional tests yeah. to um, help form the best opinion. Right. If you remove your glasses for me now. Okay, just looking at the letter at the top of the chart. Don't worry if it's blurry. To rest here, check people size. You're about a four millimetre pupil in these lighting conditions. That's fine. Right. Now, don't worry if the target's blurred, but can you see the target at the top of the stick there? Yeah. Okay. We're going to just check the eye muscles as you keep your head still. Following the target there, report any double vision or eye discomfort, please. It's all fine both ways. Right. Just under the light here. I want you to look directly into the light, this distance. I can see the light. You can see the light. I'm just looking at the reflexes on the eye there. That's 
good nasal displacement. Excellent. Right, we'll switch to this light source. Follow in the light instead of the butterfly now, please. So far, so good. Phew. Right, um, let's move on to eye health. So I've got a little device here. It's actually a little old fashioned handheld slit lamp. Just basically a microscope for up close viewing. All right, okay. so before I start, head steady, just look up to the ceiling for me. Okay, look to your left. to the right, just looking for any grouse abnormalities, looking down, so lift the lids. Right, so just looking into the distance for me, top of the chart, it's not going to touch the eye. Okay, look up to the ceiling now, look to the left. And right. Okay, look down. Straight ahead again, please. Just a little bit of conjunctival degeneration. Nothing unusual there. Iris is in good working order. Keep looking straight ahead, just for the left. Looking up, to the right, just a little bit of uh, pinguecula on the temporal side, looking nicely, now left, and down, straight ahead again please. No iris abnormalities, nice round pupil. Lids and lashes clear, thank you. Okay, I'm going to come closer and look at the back of the eye now. Focusing our attention on the optic nerve. Basically the nerve that's associated with our sight and seeing. So I'm going to be looking at the, the size of the disc the definition and the colour, okay? And obviously, any unusual findings we'll record. Okay. All right, keep looking straight into the distance, please. I have to come a little bit closer. Good, good definition, nice pink colour. CD ratio is about 0.5. Possible notching at around 2 o'clock. Bayonetting possibly 11 to 12. Signs of splinter hemorrhaging. An obvious Lamina Cribrosa. Okay. I'd probably recommend at your eye test having your pressures and your fields done. Okay. Is, is there any family history of glaucoma at all? No. Okay, keep looking straight ahead. Now for the left. It's about point 0.6. Defined, pink. A bit more of a Lamina Cribrosa. Possible bayonetting, 12. Potential notching, 10. A 
Yeah. Okay, thank you. Those words you were saying, could they be linked to my diabetes? No, I didn't say any diabetic retinopathy, which is the damage that happens or can yeah. happen as, as a result of being diabetic. Okay, if you pop your glasses on for me, please. All right, last test to do with eyes. This is just a little blocker. Essentially going to show you some numbers at a specific distance. Just say what number you think you see. Another different colours as well. 12, 8, 6, 29, 57, 5 and 3, 15, 74, 2 and 6, 87, 45. Okay. You can also say if you see now numbers. 5, 7, I think I've got bingo. Well, you should have shouted house. 16, 73. Oh, there's no numbers on either of them. Can't see any numbers on either of those either. 26, 42. Excellent. That's a pass for the right eye. Eight, six, twenty nine, fifty seven, fifteen, seventy four, twenty nine, fifty seven, fifteen, seventy four. Just double checking two and six. Five and seven, ninety-seven, forty-five, sixteen and seventy-three, there's no numbers on either of them, no, can't see any numbers on either of them. 35 and 96. Excellent, that's a pass for the left there. 8. So now real eye concerns and the muscles that control the eye movements. My only slight issue is that looking at the optic nerves, there are certain things that can occur to the optic nerve that could point towards glaucoma. And glaucoma is if the eye pressure is too high, yeah. You can lose your peripheral vision. And once you've lost the peripheral vision, it's gone for good. So early detection is key. All right. So I'm not saying you've got glaucoma. I'm just saying that there are a few slight features that would need further investigation. Okay. So your opticians, they should be looking to the contact telemetry to check your eye pressure. Yeah. And also the visual field test, the one where you press the button, you click, when you see a light at the back of the screen. Right. All right. If they're fine, then those features of the optic nerve, they just could be normal physiological features. Okay. All right. So not to alarm you, but just get it checked out. Yeah. Okay. Just remove your glasses for me, please. Okay. I'm literally going to touch the eye now, but it's obviously very soft. All okay. right. Looking up to the ceiling, head steady. Once more on the other. That seems to be working fine. OK, 
Okay, I think that's everything, guys. So we're going to do a smell test now. All right. Okay. I'm going to just hold the bottle in front of the nose. Ask you to inhale just through the nose. Let me know what you think you detect. Use any terminology you like. Okay, so close your eyes for a minute. Inhale. Take your time. Mm, I had one of these as a curry. Garlic. Garlic. Do you want to just double check? Yeah, definitely garlic. Okay. I had a garlic curry the other day. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm just going to block this nostril. Inhale through the right. Well, it smells like freshly ground coffee. Does it? Do you know what brand it is at all? No, it smells like fresh coffee beans. Okay. Medium roast, I would have said. And through the left? Definitely medium roast. Okay. You can open your eyes now. Okay. Just inhale through the nose and out. And in and out. Okay, thank you. All right. Should we move on to the taste test now? Okay. It's just a little drop of liquid onto the tongue. Yeah. All right, you take as much time as you need. Use whatever terms you like to describe, whether it's a particular fruit, particular taste, sweet, sour, bitter, salty, umami, whichever. All right, so close okay. your eyes. Okay, tongue out. Okay. Well, that's really sour. I'd say it's lemon. Okay, that's good. You're on the nose there. Okay, tongue out again. A bit more. That's really, really sweet. Is that a sugar liquid? It is. It just tastes like very sweet. Okay, that's good. Any sourness there? No, it was just sweet. Okay, very good. Tongue out again. Third and final one. Okay. Mm, that's quite tangy. Um, can't quite picture what it is, but it's really tangy and slightly salty as well. Excellent. No problems with the sense of taste there. Okay, let's move on. So you can open the eyes now. Let's do a little bit of facial sensations now before moving on to movements of the facial muscles. Two applicators here. This is soft. They call this the hard. Just so you know what they feel like. Hard. Soft. Could you tell the difference there? Not very well. Try again. Definitely. Is I there a difference, the difference there? Now, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll be applying one at random. You tell me whether you feel you felt hard, touch the face or the soft. Okay. Okay, close the eyes now then. It's going to be in random locations. That's hard. Soft. Excellent. That was soft. Hard. Soft. Very good. Soft. Soft again. Soft. I think that was soft again. Okay. Can you feel this? Yeah. Any problems with the jaw ache, tooth ache at all at the moment? No, no. Have you recently saw your dentist? Nope. Open the mouth for me, please. 
Uh, okay. Close the mouth. Okay, close the eyes now. Hard. Soft. Hard again. I think that was hard again. Excellent. Soft. Soft. Hard. Soft. Okay. Looking straight ahead for me. Have you been suffering with a droopy lid at all recently? This Not side? that I noticed. Okay. Any double vision? No. Okay. Checking the lid there. Any pain? No. Excellent. Just check the temples. Any temple pain at all recently? No. No vessels popping out? No. Excellent. Okay, close the eyes again. Back to the test. Soft. Soft. It's hard to tell whether that was hard or soft. It was like in between. That felt like hard. Soft. Soft. Excellent. Not too bad. Okay. Open your eyes for me now. Just looking at me um, straight on. I want you to smile for me now. Okay. Smile just on this side. Okay. Relax. Smile on this side. Okay, relax. Look up for me. Take a blink. Okay, just blink the left eye, like a cat. And the right. Try that one again. All right, okay, looking straight ahead. We haven't got to do anything now. I'm just going to make some observations. That's fine. Okay, close the eyes for me now. How to move on to hearing and sound. So. Can you hear that sound there? Yeah. It's coming from my right. Excellent. That's on my left. Okay, in terms of volume. About equal? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's be more specific now. We have a tuning fork. You can open the eyes. It's just checking hearing, conductive hearing. Yeah. All right. So I'll ring the tuning fork. I'm going to place it just behind the ear on the bone there. Yeah. It won't hurt. I want you to tell me as soon as you stop hearing the ringing of the tuning fork. Okay. Okay. So that's the sound you'll hear. That's what we're listening out for, all right? Okay. Now. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. It's very good on that side. Tell me when you stop hearing. Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to place the tuning fork here first and there. Now we're checking balance, whether you're hearing it equally. Right. Or whether it's more on the one or the other side. Yep. All right. Can you hear that? Yeah. It's quite even. Is it? It sounds it to me. Yeah. 
No. I'm hearing it slightly more on the left. This side? Yeah. Okay, let's repeat with a different tuning fork. Okay, it's just a different frequency, so. Equal, do you feel? There it is, yeah. That's more even. Is it? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So to conclude then, there were just a few little sensation issues here and here, but I can't see any underlying problems that indicate an emergency type situation. Right. Okay. And then just the eyes, looking to see your optometrist, your vision was a little bit reduced, but there was no signs of cataract or macular pathology. Okay. So that could indicate that your prescription has changed. And obviously okay. just looking at the optic nerves, we need to check more for glaucoma. Right. All right, so I'll let you get off now, or I'll get off and I'll leave you to your whiskey. Yeah, I'll right. enjoy that. Uh, don't drink too much in one go. Okay. All right then, All see right. you soon. Thanks for coming.